Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Rebecca. Today we're gonna do a yoga flow with weights just to build some upper body strength while we do our yoga flow. Um, you'll wanna grab a two pound weight to start and then gradually go up by one pound increments. Um, you don't wanna grab too big of a weight to start out with um, because it's kind of intense, you may not think it, but go ahead and set your weights to the side we're going to start off by doing a quick sun salutation. So go ahead and join me at the front of your mat. Hips, feet hip width apart, hands at your side, roll your shoulders back, pulling your belly button in towards your spine. And inhale and exhale. Inhale, bring your hands up, above, look up. Exhale, down to a forward fold. Inhale, exhale, plant your hands, come back into a low lunge. Inhale, and exhale. Plant your hands, step it back to plank, lower down, baby cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes under, inhale, come into downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, plant your right foot, swing that left foot up between your hands, low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, back foot to meet your front. Forward fold. Inhale, bring your hands up, look up. Hands come down into mountain pose. So on our next round, we're gonna start left over to right. So inhale and exhale. Inhale, hands come up above your head, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, exhale, plant your hands. Right foot back, low lunge. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, plank, lower down slowly. Baby Cobra, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring your right foot up, slowly walk it forward between your hands, low lunge, exhale, back foot to meet the front, Inhale, hands up above your head. Exhale, hands down to your side. Step around to the middle of your mat. Feet a little wider than hip distance apart. We're gonna come up and we're gonna step over. Step back and up and back and up. We're kind of going into goddess and then up, just warming our bodies up so that we can do some yoga with our weights. And up, and one more time each side. And back to center. All right. And we're gonna bring our right hand down to the side, left hand up and over. And switch. Hands down, come into chair. And up. Chair, and up. 
chair, trying to go a little deeper each time. And up, chair, and up. One more time each side, down to chair, and up, chair, and up. Woo. All right, we're gonna grab our weights. Chair is going to be our friend today. Bring your feet just a little wider than hip width, just hip, hip distance apart. And we're going to come into chair and we're gonna bring our weights out in front of us and we're gonna look down. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Palms facing down, bring your right arm down to touch your knee and inhale up, exhale. Switch sides. Both hands down and up. All right, bring him out to the side and we're gonna bring him down and up. Make sure you're staying in chair. Your legs will definitely be burning by the time we're done. And bring him up into chair. Sink down a little bit if you can. You can come up a little, hands down in front of you. Still, I'm gonna show you from the side where I'm at. I'm just in a little bit of a chair pose. Not sinking back too much, just giving a little bit of fire into my front of my thighs, okay? I'm gonna come back around. We're gonna sink down, we're gonna inhale and exhale. Bringing your right arm up for a nice bicep curl. Switch sides. Stand up. Ooh. Ooh. Feeling it in your legs yet? All right, we're going to come a little bit wide. We're going to come into our goddess. We're going to hold our weights up towards our waist. And when we're ready, we're going to inhale and exhale. Getting kind of a full body workout here as we go through this sequence. Back to your waist and then bring it up. Come up. We're going to switch around into our warrior two. We're just going to hold our weights here. You're really building. This is why you want to start out with kind of a small weight. Don't forget to bring yourself straight up and down over your pelvis and look out over your right arm. Bring your right arm. We're just going to lift and come down. Back up into goddess. Weights at your hip creases. We're gonna switch over to our warrior two on our other side, straightening your torso, looking out over your left hand, just holding. If, if at any time the weights become too heavy, you can drop them down and you can come into regular warrior two. Let's really work through it. Um, that's why I say start with a one or a two pound weight and work your way up. Mm -hmm. 
all you're doing is building muscle in your arms for these poses. Bring your left arm down onto your left leg. We're just going to bring it up and down. 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 And down. We're going to come back into our goddess pose. Weights on our hips, the creases. And we're just going to stay in goddess for a second and inhale and exhale. You can bring your feet in a little if needed. We're going to bring it up and you're going to raise it up for five. Down to your hip crease. Bring it up and down. Straighten out through your legs. Kind of wiggle back and forth. You're probably really feeling it in your legs. You wiggle, wiggle, walk your feet back together. Come hip width apart. Okay, so get ready. We're gonna come in to our tree pose. And there's several variations of tree that you guys can follow. I'm a little tighter through my lower body, so I can't quite get my ankle or my heel clear up. So I'll show you my variation that I do. You never want to put your foot on, you never want to do this, okay? You don't ever want to use, so you'll, I just bring it down to my um, calf. So you want to hip width apart, okay? Bring your hands to your center with your weights. Mine are green and it's hard to see them, but it's okay. All right, so plant your right foot wherever you're at for tree. You can be here, here, or you can get it up, up into your thigh. All right, I'm gonna be here tonight. Bring them here and all we're gonna do is we're gonna bring them out once you find your balance and in. Trying not to extend past your arms. Hands back to center. All right. We're just going to punch out with them. Okay. We're just going to punch out. Bring our hands back to our chest. So inhale, exhale. Trying to focus on something in front of you that'll be your best friend. Down to your side. Bring your left arm up to your hip crease and raise up and down. Oh, this is also building a lot of stability in your lower body as well while we do this. Bring your feet back down, hands up to your chest. Kind of feel some grounding. You can wiggle out your knees at this point if needed. And we're gonna inhale and exhale. Inhale, remember, here, here, or up here. It's wherever you feel comfortable. Tonight I'm gonna be here for you guys. And we're gonna bring them here. And we're gonna inhale and exhale. You'll find one side you have less stability on than the other as well. Hands to center. We're going to do the punch. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Let 
right hand to your hip crease. Inhale, pull. Inhale, exhale. Hands back to center, feet down. Woo! Okay, we can drop our weights. We're not going to use those anymore. And we're just going to give ourselves just a small, you know, twisting back and forth just to kind of loosen ourselves up just a little. You can bring your feet wider than hip width if you'd like. Just twist. We're not getting crazy. We're just twisting out our body a little bit. We're going to come up and we're going to stretch out. Again, your feet should be a little wider than hip width right now. Just trying to get your body stretched out. You know, we did some pretty intensive stretching. Right? You always want to stretch. Again, it's not how much or how far you can go in yoga. It's just coming to the mat every day. Just making this transition. Every day you make the transition. And we're going to bring our arms back and then forward back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. And then we're just gonna fold forward, grab our toes, halfway lift with our feet wider than hip width. We're gonna touch our toes, come into a side twist. Come back, halfway lift, come down, swing it around, we're going to swing over, come into low lunge, really try to stretch yourself out, you can come up, let's come up into our high lunge. Really trying to stretch out those legs from being on them for a while. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. We're going to do a transition here. Then we're going to spin around to our other side. Now we're going to have our left foot forward, right foot back. We're just going to bring our arms up and we're going to try to really stretch our hip flexor out and the, you know, our thigh. And we're just going to stretch. Come back down, bring, come back, and then we're going to transition around again. We're going to do this on the other side. Come around and come into your seated position with your hands on your knees. All right. So we're just going to bring our hand up and grab the side of our ear and we're just going to stretch it down. Just let the weight of your head do the work. Please do not crank down on your neck because you could pull a muscle in here. Come around, hand to your knee, switch sides. Left hand, right ear. Inhale and exhale. Just breathe naturally. Bring your hands up. Bring your right arm down. Grab it with your left arm. Make sure you just bend it straight down. Inhale and exhale. Really just trying to re-lubricate your joints from an intense with the weights. Arms out, switch sides. Left hand, just bend it, bring it down. Pulling with your right arm, pulling it over. Bring him down. I'm going to switch around so you can see me do this move. We're going to come. And all we're going to do is we're just going to lean forward. Stretch our arms forward and bring them back. Forward 
and back. Plant your hands, come into child's pose. Slide up, come into your legs forward, bring your legs forward, adjust myself a little, legs forward, and then Flex your feet, point your feet, flex, point, point, flex, point, flex, point. Just gently lean forward, keeping your back straight, just lean forward. Slide your hands up, scoot forward just a little bit, come down, come down, knees are bent, we're going to stretch our right foot and we're just going to bring, bend our left knee over our right leg, we're going to twist to the right. So left, right leg's out straight, left leg's bent. You just bring it kind of to your knee crease. Then you just twist over and look over to the right. If you want a really good neck stretch, you can look at your opposite side. Inhale, come back to center. Left leg out, right leg is bent. Just bring it next to you, twist over to the left, right arm is out now, looking out over your right arm, inhale, and exhale. Inhale. Come back to center, knees bent, one in, brought the left knee in, right leg out. Stretch them back out in front of you, bring the right knee in, left leg out. I always like to flex my my leg that's down helps me keep it stable on the floor and I point my right toes. Release, knees bent, we're gonna come into a figure four. Bend your left leg up, cross it over like you're sitting with your legs crossed, like, kind of like men do when they sit. So we're gonna call this our man cross leg. <laughs> no, we're not gonna call that. This is figure four. Um, you can stay here, or if you'd like to go deeper into the stretch, you can grab your right leg. We used our legs a lot today, just trying to get a good stretch out so that they don't feel like jello when you're done with this practice. Release everything. You can hug your knees in. You release back down. And we're going to go to the other side. So bring your right leg over. Toes. See my toes? All right. Pressing down with your right hand on your knee. Just try and keep yourself flat on the ground. And if you'd like to go a little bit farther into the stretch again, you can grab your left leg and bring it up. Oh, I really needed this one tonight. Um, pretty tight on my right side, 
you could be pretty tight or you could be very loose and just say, oh, Rebecca, you're crazy. <laughs> it's okay. Inhale. Exhale. All right, release everything. Grab your knees, hug them into your chest, point your toes, really point, 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 point. Try to bring your head up off the ground. Try to touch your nose, touch your nose, really bring it out. And then release, hands above, point toes. Try to bring yourself apart in the center. And then come down into your Shavasana. Hands on your belly and out to the side, wherever you feel comfortable. You can bring your right hand over your heart, your left hand on your stomach, wherever you feel comfortable. We're going to sit here in Shavasana. You did amazing today. You made it through. That is a great job. Whether you fell down or you had to stand up, it's okay. You made it to the end and... You are amazing. You are great. I hope you have a blessed day. Um, we're going to lay here for two to five minutes.